getting me a fire going this morning. Having a little difficulties, but it's gonna be all right. Show you what we got here actually making a coffee. And done got it made, I'm just refilling my cup, stoking this fire up. We in the pottery shed, got some pottery to make. And uh, come out here, to, had to make coffee in my shed this morning. And show you why, and we'll do a little uh, keel unload. We're gonna go crack the keel and let y'all take a look in it. But uh, anyway, we got fire. I keep a couple of milk jugs that I put tap water in, and uh, just for the purpose of emergencies, when you need a little extra water, I don't like to dip it out of a rain catchment system out there. I have a little that I'll put up. I'm fixing to show you why. Y'all hang on. You see that brute pipe down in that hole? Yeah. And I got in ingenious and tied me a cut open milk carton to a stick there. Anyway, that pipe was what was down in there and that bucket was over it. And you see the weed eater done eat it up. So we got to throw all that mess away. Start over. We're going to reuse our big pipe, obviously. And we're going to cover it with something else. And that plastic bag over there, I had that down under my valve to keep dirt from getting up around it but obviously when this blowed and started pushing water dirt got under there anyway because it it was pushing against that it mined out a little hole back up under there we got to fill all that in but we're gonna let this dry and get where we can clip so we got the water shut off to the house all i wanted to do was make a little coffee this morning and i turned the faucet and no water come out. You can imagine how I felt. Okay, this right here is one of our older kills. It's set up over in my dad's welding shop because this is the only place that we really had to put it when we first got this kill. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here, you can see it's on 309 degrees. It cooked last night for 11.38 hours. So now that it's down, usually I wait somewhere between around 400 degrees, I crack this lid. So, oh, see where I take one of these stools and, uh, and you can pretty well look in here and I crack it like this, but I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and give you a quick peek inside. I know everybody likes to see what's open. This is the magical moment for most potters is cracking this keel open and seeing the stuff that's glazed and how it looks in there, so. Some of our pottery. And this stack, most of this is plates. This is Christmas orders, but we pushing hard right now to get Christmas out. And that's why there hadn't been a lot of Christmas pottery videos made or pottery videos at all made. All right. What we're doing, sanding edges on this, and loading this kill. And we'll stack it full and get all we can in it. This is our new kill. It's a scut 1227 digital. We fixing the best fire load. Okay. We leave this lid cracked till it gets up to a thousand degrees. Then we'll shut it. 11 and a half hours it'll be cooked it'll take approximately 24 before you can crack it and start getting it out okay we down to we are at about 100 degrees so we're going to start going ahead and pulling this out and uh let you watch i'm probably going to put this in high speed 
Uh, I'm gonna adjust this back down just a little bit so you can see in the keel fairly well. But uh, just let you watch what comes out of here right quick. What I do is I have to put it in the back of this buggy and we haul it back over to the house. So I'm gonna adjust this and y'all watch. All right, that's it. We're going to load it, the rest of this in there. We're going to carry it back to our shop. So thank y'all for watching our video. I've had several people want to see some of our pottery. So I thought I would take to this morning and uh, show you a little just what goes on in a day in the life of, of some of the pottery. Uh, I probably won't ever show our making process simply because we try to stay unique. And I don't really want anybody copying exactly the way that we do things. But... I will show you some of our product and some of our things, but I probably don't, won't do any making pottery videos, but thank y'all for watching. Hit like, subscribe. We do a lot of different things on this channel, so appreciate your views and your support. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good one. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it.